Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at the new 6.8 Western and we're going to compare it to the classic 300 Winchester Magnum. We're going to be comparing factory ammo. We're going to see how they perform against each other downrange. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get into it. When I was filming for the 6.8 Western versus the 7mm Rem Mag on the Winchester website, I noticed this little comparison chart and uh, I noticed that the 300 Win Mag seemed light in the energy department at 500 yards. And so this is really why I'm making this video is to see what the actual facts are with how the 300 Win Mag stacks up with the 6.8 Western. And so let's go ahead and see what the energy really is with factory ammo. Okay, first things first, I'm not a huge fan of Winchester picking the 180 grain bullet to compete with 6.8 Western's highest BC bullet, the 165 grain. So it makes sense that the 6.8 Western roughly has around 100 more foot pounds of energy. But also what I wanted to point out was that they're not using the fastest factory ammo loads in the wind mag okay this is 300 wind mag factory ammo from hornaday the superformance and i'm going to be using a 180 grain sst bullet which even has a lower bc than the acubond that was in the winchester website but the difference is the velocity okay we scroll up all right you're going to muzzle velocity of 3130, which is pretty darn good. The energy puts it at 3,900 foot-pounds. And even with the somewhat poor BC at 500 yards, look at that. It actually beats the 6.8 Western. With certain factory ammo, it will actually beat the 6.8 Western. But it's not really a fair fight. So let me make this a little more fair for the Win Mag. Let's use a higher BC bullet. So you can buy Precision Hunter ammo from Hornaday. And you can use the 200 grain ELDX. Let me just show you the BC and the velocity with this factory ammo. Okay. Muzzle velocity of 2850. It's not bad. Muzzle energy 3600. Okay. Then the BC is a, a quite a bit better than the 180 grain bullets, uh, 0.597. So that's closer to what that 6.8 Western would be shooting in the Acubond. Let's go ahead and go to the ballistic charts to see how it really compares. Okay, looking at the 6.8 Western uh, ballistic chart with that 165 grain Acubond with a really good BC of 0.620. Your velocity with the factory ammo is 2970 and the energy is 3200 foot pounds. Now, out to hunting distances, you're still, uh, at, look at that, almost 2100 foot pounds at 400 yards. And then at that 500 yards, it's mid 1800 foot pounds. And what I want to do is see how far we could theoretically shoot it before it gets to 1500 foot pounds. Let's go ahead and check. And it looks like it's a little bit less than 700 yards that you're going to get 1,500 foot pounds. So you're almost getting 700 yards, basically. Really good performance. And let's look at the drop only 103 inches. Also, extremely good. Now that we're looking at the wind mag with that 200 grain ELDX with a BC of 0.597 and that factory velocity of 2850, the energy is 3600 out to 400 yards, uh, you're having about a 200 foot pound advantage over the 6.8 Western. And then let's go ahead and look at 500 yards, almost 200 foot pound advantage at 2,011 foot pounds. So yeah, the 300 wind mag still beats it with factory ammo. 
then let's go ahead and see how far we can go out to 1500 foot pounds and right at 700 yards so with this specific factory load it probably has about a, a 50 to 25 yard advantage over the 6.8 Western but one thing that the 6.8 Western does beat it at is check out the drop at 700 yards it's 115 inches of drop while the 6.8 Western was 103. All right, if you made it this far, you're probably thinking, man, this reloading Weatherby dude, he really doesn't like the 6.8 Western. Which, let me tell you, is not true. I actually really like the 6.8 Western. I just was really curious when I saw Winchester claiming that 6.8 Western could beat the 300 Wind Mag. I wanted to see if that was really the case. And in certain instances, it can. But with the best factory ammo that you can get in a wind mag, uh, the wind mag does beat it. But with a little bit better performance, you're going to get more recoil with the wind mag. With all of that being said, I really hope the 6.8 Western does really well. I like it, and I'm excited to see if it will make the 270 cartridges more popular. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.